In this age of advanced technology, how hard could it be to develop a robotic bird that flies by flapping its wings? <laughs> Despite the apparent simplicity of the idea, it's actually very hard. That is, if you want the bird to literally fly. That's right. Although numerous robotic birds have successfully taken to the skies in recent years, there's only one that's capable of complex aerobatic maneuvers. That's thanks to completely programmable wings that can flap independently of each other. So we sent Christine to investigate this mechanical marvel known as the Robo Raven, soaring straight out of the Maryland Robotics Center at the University of Maryland College Park. Let's check it out. Hey there, I'm Christine Daly and I'm here at the University of Maryland College Park to learn more about the engineering behind the Robo Raven. This drone is a flapping wing unmanned air vehicle that has complete independent wing control, allowing it to reproduce the sophisticated gait of a bird. And today, we'll get to learn more about the engineering, science, and innovative design that makes this fearless flyer so unique. Let's go check it out. The inspiration was the actual Raven itself. We were looking for a platform that was biological, that had a mass that was capable of carrying a substantial payload, and that had aerobatic maneuvers that were very novel and unique. Traditionally, there have been two styles of uh, flight. One is fixed wing, where you get very good efficiency, however, maneuverability is not very high, and rotary wing, uh, where maneuverability is very high, but efficiency is not very good. Uh, on the other hand, birds uh, have very good maneuverability and very good efficiency, so we wanted to take inspiration from birds and create a platform which can offer good maneuverability and good efficiency. There are five generations of Robo Raven, each building up from the original platform. Well, the Raven 2 is unique because it's solely intended to teach us more about flapping wing flight. The wing just sitting here on a table is flat, so it's not an airfoil, it's not really a wing yet. Mm -hmm. Once you start moving it, it's very flexible, very thin and very light, and it bends into this curved shape, and now it is a wing, it's an airfoil. And so as the air moves over it, it generates a lot of lift, and that is how you fly. Robo Raven 3 upgrades this platform with the integration of solar cells that harvest the sun's energy. The original goal was to just uh, recharge the battery. So instead of, of having to come inside and recharge the battery, taking it off the, of the vehicle, yeah. we can uh, simply just let it out in the sun and it'll recharge the battery. Um, and the added benefit is that because we're using it during flight, it can actually increase the amount of time that you can fly for. Okay, so by adding these cells, can you reduce the size of the batteries on board that you use? Yeah, so being able to produce enough power will allow you to use a smaller battery with a smaller capacity. Um, so you can actually reduce your weight and produce more power that way. Or so the added weight of the wings is kind of countermeasured by decreasing exactly. the weight of the battery. Exactly. Robo Raven 4 extends the original platform to a platform that has autonomous flight capability, including a control algorithm to conduct surveillance using an onboard autopilot system. We just took the original platform and it had a 40 gram payload. We had to update, uh, we had to change some of the onboard microcontrollers. So it's a larger one, it's called the Ardu Pilot instead of the Arduino Nano. This one has a sensor suite with a IMU, a GPS, a barometer. Um, and capability for wireless communication, as well as a compass and things like that. The original was just capable of RC control? Right, just RC control, so that was just manual. So having these extra sensors allows us to do the autonomy, so we can sense what our orientation is and how that's changing, and that's how we'll do something like the stabilization, and with the GPS and compass, we can do navigation. Robo Raven's four autonomy and control algorithms make it desirable to a wide variety of applications in both public and private sectors. Robots like this can be used in agriculture or environmental monitoring, as well as a possible source for recon for soldiers in the battlefield. Right now, Robo Raven has been limited in the sense that it hadn't been able to take off before, but now we are going towards autonomous takeoff capability. And what we've been able to do with Robo Raven 5 is to actually get successful takeoff and transition into a regular flight. 
Will you take Rover Raven 5 one step further and try to autonomously land it? I really want to. Honestly, it's not just landing. Land, like a taxi landing, like a plane, is, would be nice, but I really want to do a perch to do that bio-inspired perch. The fact that a bird can just make it look so easy, I want to get to the point where we can have Robo Raven 5 perch. Seeing a designer's ideas and thought process translate into a working vehicle never gets old. And visiting with the Robo Raven team here at the University of Maryland College Park was inspiring. I'm excited to see what the future holds for this cutting edge technology. Check you next time at RoboNation TV.